It is kind of eerie down here, especially when you're down here alone. Do people typically say that it's more negative yeah. energy, you would say, yeah. for yeah. sure, oh, like down here? People have felt something touch them down here. And we know that there are Native American burial grounds around the country. Maybe maybe there's some you know, deceased remains underground here as well as that ties into that. Uh, my name is Rick Huffman. I'm uh, director of uh, sponsorship sales and uh, public relations for SMG in Sioux Falls. We manage um, the Orpheum Theater Center here in Sioux Falls. And so right now uh, we are standing uh, in the uh, lobby of uh, the old historic uh, Orpheum Theater, uh, which was built and opened in 1913. October 2nd was the grand opening night. The building is now on the National Register of Historic Places, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful building uh, that has served a great purpose in our community for over 100 years now. There's a lot of stories uh, related to the theater. Uh, it uh, was built originally as Vaudeville House. Uh, there was a rail line spur that would go behind the building, and so when uh, a Vaudeville company would come in to Sioux Falls, they could bring uh, train cars down right behind the building and unload there with their animals. Uh, eventually it became a uh, movie theater and was that way for probably a good 25 years or so before um, in the mid-50s the Sioux Falls Community Playhouse purchased it and then they owned the building for 50 years until, uh, until they went out of business and now it's owned by the city of Sioux Falls. So uh, it's interesting that most of the, um, the stories that we hear uh, about the Orpheum Theater uh, didn't start until uh, the theater was 40 years old and the uh, community playhouse people had taken over. So uh, I've done a lot of community theater productions down here myself. I know that uh, theater people are, are very in tune and aware of, of things. And so uh, that's where a lot of the old stories come from, is from the, uh, the days of the community playhouse. So again, this is uh, all original. Uh, it's been updated over the years, but uh, they've kept uh, most of the original design elements. It was in the early 2000s uh, that um, the Community Playhouse bought a bar that was next door across the parking lot and started using it to uh, do uh, smaller theater productions. And uh, several years after that, they decided to uh, build what they called a link between the two buildings. Uh, it was just a parking lot in that space. Uh, but now we've got the original theater, uh, we've got a new uh, lobby that's uh, very spacious, and then that leads into uh, the studio theater space. Uh, from the lobby here, uh, there are two sets of stairs that lead up into the balcony. Um, where we've got, um, but the grand total in seating right now is about 678 or 688 people. Uh, when it first opened, it was a thousand, but uh, um, the capacity has shrunk over the years as they've done some remodeling. Uh, let's go ahead and come on down here so you can get inside and see what things look like. Over the years, the theater has uh, repeatedly been updated 
And uh, as it stands right now, it's a, a thoroughly updated uh, theater, new lights, new soundboard. Uh, the stage, of course, has a trap door uh, that is used for uh, theater productions, and that's got some stories behind it as well. Uh, the balcony is uh, the scene of probably the most uh, famous or the most oft-repeated uh, ghost story that, that, that we've ever come across. In 1959, uh, a gentleman here in Sioux Falls who was well known at the time, he did a radio show and did a lot of community theater at the time, uh, was here uh, late at night uh, rehearsing uh, some of his stuff for a play that uh, was opening, I believe, the following week. So he was here alone uh, late at night and uh, going through his, his lines and his blocking, his staging, his moving and things like that. And uh, it comes to a point where um, uh, his script assess him to deliver a line up to the sky and usually you don't look straight up into the sky when you do something like that in theater you tend just to look out at the balcony to give the illusion that you're looking up in the sky and talking to the world and so as he delivered the line and looked up into the balcony he saw uh, a growing um, blue bright light and the apparition of a male in that light he said that uh, the male apparition appeared to be either waving at him or motioning him uh, to come up to the balcony, and he left. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> he got, he got, oh, and he got hit by this icy cold blast he, he described uh, at the time as well. So he grabbed the keys and left and locked the door, and uh, the next morning the uh, staff of the community playhouse came in and uh, discovered that all of the newly wired fusing in the building had been blown out. The guess is that maybe um, the apparition had become angry that this gentleman had just left uh, so suddenly and wasn't willing to communicate with him at all. He left him hanging, you know. What's that? He left him hanging. Left him hanging, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of different versions of, of that story, but what ties it in to a lot of people is that back in the days when this was a movie theater, um, uh, there was uh, two storefronts on the front of the building and above that were two apartments and the theater manager at the time lived in one of those apartments and was having an affair with a married woman. Her husband came down one night and caught them in the act and a fight ensued and it spilled over into the balcony here and uh, the husband killed the, uh, the theater manager. And so the thinking is that that is what was happening at the time was this male apparition was that theater manager uh, coming back to either try to connect with people or exact his revenge, we don't know. Um, but that, that actually happened, like a recorded murder? Not that I am aware of. But that's just a, like a yeah, kind that's, of folk that's tale what the thinking story. Was. So, um, you know, at the time, I don't know how long ago or around what time period that, that murder would have taken place and that maybe that spirit had stayed here. The particular gentleman, the, the cast member uh, that was working here late at night, um, had experiences in his lifetime of um, seeing and, and experiencing things and so he was maybe more in tune with uh, the spiritual world and um, and that might have been the first chance that that apparition had had to find somebody to connect to. Eventually uh, the ghost so to speak uh, developed a name we don't know where the name come from or who gave it to him but his name is Larry. Uh, there are people who say that they have seen Larry uh, at least um, as an apparition or have felt his presence here in the building. You know, I've, I've done a lot of shows here and, and know a lot of people that have had experiences in the building on stage, uh, down in the basement where the green room and the, and the uh, dressing rooms are. In all the years of this being a community theater, there've been a lot of um, uh, people who have reported things that have that have bothered them, have, um, have frightened them. There's also been, I, I couldn't even tell you how many reports of people who have been working here or or rehearsing or for whatever reason looked up into um, what has used to be a light booth uh, for productions here but also was the projector booth up there where they've seen somebody standing up there a male it's always a male uh, there's yeah just a lot of fun stories uh, there's one guy I know of uh, uh, personally who um, was uh, working here he was a staff member in the community playhouse at the time he was uh, cleaning up the stage after a performance one night and he felt something and turned around and and on the floor, uh, where he just had finished sweeping, uh, he came across, there was a picture laying there that had not been there because he had just swept that area. Uh, it was a picture of a male, uh, an older, um, you know, black and white picture. It wasn't very big. Um, he um, was kind of freaked out by it. He set it down on the light board 
and um, went to get somebody, and when they came back, the picture was gone. So <laughs> why don't we go down uh, to the basement, and then uh, when we're done there, we can go up to the uh, light booth. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Right. So I mentioned the, uh, uh, the story of the uh, outraged uh, husband killing the theater manager. Uh, there's also um, uh, theories that uh, a construction worker had died during the construction of the building and that it's that person's uh, spirit. Then later on in the 70s, there was a, a stagehand that had died and Larry is that stagehand uh, coming back uh, to haunt the theater. Mm -hmm. So that's what they fell on him? Was yeah, that yeah. That's, that's what I thought yeah. too. Yeah. Sandbags back in the day. But there are no recorded deaths in the building no, ever. Yeah, yeah, not that I, you know, I'm not an expert. No, <laughs> interesting though. Uh, interesting. I've never, you know, researched any, um, um, you know, criminal cases or anything like that to know for sure if something like that had happened. So, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I wanted to, so as you can see, um, the original uh, theater, um, this was the outside of the theater. It was uh, later on, I believe, in um, in the late 50s or early 60s that this additional section was added and that's where they were able to put the green room and the dressing rooms downstairs. You can see where an old window used to be that's uh, got... Oh, right crazy. Right wow. Um, also in here has been um, uh, the location of some of the stories uh, that I've heard of people who have experienced strange and unusual things uh, when, again, when the addition was made onto the theater it also allowed uh, space for uh, a scene shop and um, a set piece and prop storage uh, in this area here. There have been uh, many stories over the years of people who've been working here and all of a sudden um, just feel a blast of cold air uh, come through them. Or they've heard uh, things uh, when they've been, you know, going out onto the stage and then back here, that where they um, feel something touch them or uh, sense something behind them and they turn and look and they don't see anything, but they feel a very cold a pocket of mm -hmm. cold air. There have been some accidents in here, but nothing uh, that has led to any death, so. Uh, Real quickly, when you say yeah. accidents, you mean yeah. just? Oh, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of a construction shop, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, you're using uh, heavy equipment and saws and, and uh, hammers and nails and things like that. You're up on different levels here reaching for things where people have slipped and fallen and uh, broken a foot or mm -hmm. had a nail driven through their foot or um, uh, hit their head and, and got concussion and, and different things like that. So kind of traumatic yeah, experiences traumatic in here. Injuries, yeah. Interesting. All right, we'll uh, go downstairs now. Interestingly enough, um, the psychic that I've filmed with a lot of times says yeah. that the basement here in the theater is one of the only two places that she will not go down into. Oh, that's interesting, yeah, because yeah, there are people that I've been in shows with who just do not feel comfortable down here. got two dressing rooms here. Uh, these were added um, after the community theater took over in 1954. The green room, for those who don't know, is uh, typically the place where actors hang out when they're not on stage. Green rooms got their name, if I remember. There was a superstition about it had to be green. Common area that was off the stage that actors would hang out in had to be uh, the color green for some kind of superstitious reasons that date back to New York theater or London theater that that I'm not aware of. Uh, we, as you can tell, we uh, don't have green walls or anything like that. It's just mostly called a green room. So hmm. Maybe that's um, where the energy yeah. comes from. It's a great it's light, super great super lighting super in here. <laughs> so, do you want to go into the uh, one of the two most talked about uh, spaces in the building? No. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is that where all the signatures were? Oh, right there. I was yeah. like, my name's on there. Is this painted over? <laughs> it, it's pretty common for uh, people who do shows that they like to write uh, their name on the wall and what, sh what show it was, you know, Annie 2006 or something like that. Uh, we'll come on through here, but what this space is now uh, holds a prop room. 
Uh, there's also a space underneath the stage where the orchestra uh, members will go into and perform from. You can see uh, got a lot of names and shows from past productions. A lot of porn is awesome, it's me! <laughs> there you go. I don't know uh, where this might have come from. Oh. Apparently somebody was moved. <laughs> It's an eerie looking woman for yeah, sure. Right? Very long hair. Yeah. It's a lot of energy on the wall. You know, people have come yeah, here over sure. the years and leaving their mark. It's, it's there's just a lot of names. I mean, you just look at it as a whole. So what are the stories from this area? Right, uh, so from the green room, dressing rooms, um, if people have to enter from stage right, uh, they pass through this passageway and then there's some steps leading up to the stage and they come in from there. It, it, I, I couldn't tell you how many stories there are of people who have um, been in those situations where they've had to pass through this, this area. It's still generally fairly quiet down here unless there's an orchestra playing in a musical or something like that, uh, despite what's going on upstairs. You know, sometimes there's large groups that are moving through here, but but there's always uh, shows where it's one cast member that has to get from one side of the stage to the other. There are, there are feelings, there are senses, there are episodes where they, they feel and sense something that, I, I don't know if I'm using the right word by saying something that bothers them, but mm -hmm. something that, no, that they notice that uh, sends a chill up their spine, or that makes them just stop dead in their tracks, or that makes them suddenly turn around, startled. And a lot of them are uh, tied into also that cold air uh, sensation. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, you know, some people are very in tune to that kind of thing, so. Um, but, you know, I've never come across any stories of anything sinister that ever happened down here. But that doesn't mean that, you know, something couldn't have happened, so. Do people t are typically say that it's more negative yeah. energy, you would say, yeah, for yeah, sure, like definitely. down here? Yeah, no, uh, I've never heard anyone uh, say that something strange happened to them or that they felt something strange that, you know, moved them or um, uplifted them or anything. It is always in the context of, you know, oh my gosh, or just absolute fright. Have people been ever like touched or like yeah. pushed down here? Uh, I don't know about push. I, I know physical, physical feelings, physical contact. That might have been pushes, that might have just been touches or something like that. Yeah, you know, people who have felt something touch them down here. Uh, as, as I've heard described, uh, it's not been a pleasant experience, but I, I just love this space. It's, uh, it's, it's, it is kind of eerie down here, especially when you're down here alone. So what do you think is down here? Like what kind of a spirit? Just the same one that people are yeah. feeling upstairs, but it sounds like they're kind of describing two totally different that's, that's experiences. What I, I don't know how, how these things work. If, um, if a spirit or an apparition or whatever tends to stay in one location, but all of the Larry stories are from out in the theater. I, at least I don't think I've ever heard of any Larry stories down in this space. It's more likely that if you experience, um, you know, something, maybe it's, you know, from from the earth. This part of the country was, um, you know, the home for uh, Native Americans, mm -hmm. of course, for centuries. You know, so, you know, we know that there are um, Native American burial grounds around the country, and maybe maybe there's some. Um, you know, deceased remains underground here in mm -hmm. Sioux Falls that ties into that. I don't know what it would be, but it's, it seems to be uh, separate individuals have felt that they haven't tied into Larry. Something darker. Themselves. Yeah, something darker perhaps, yeah. Larry. It's been down here where the, the fright has seemed to come from. Uh, the hanging story. Alan, do you remember anything about a hanging story? I know I, I've heard of it, but I can't think of the details of it. The hanging story? Yeah. I haven't heard the hanging story. I heard the sandbag one. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, it was the hanging story had to do with uh, something that is ordinary part of theater. You, do, you don't get cast in a show. And the hanging story is that there was an actor who uh, had done a lot of theater over uh, the years and 
Um, the one role that he always wanted to perform, um, the community theater uh, did that one year, and of course he auditioned for it, and, and he didn't get cast in that role, and it just devastated him. And um, he somehow managed to get into the theater uh, one night and uh, got up into the fly system and, and um, put a rope around his neck and, and jumped off it, I guess maybe in a way to try and curse that particular production because he wasn't mm -hmm. that leading character so that's a particularly dark story yeah, yeah, I feel like that's one. i think the worst one yeah. out of all the ones we've heard so far yeah. would be yeah. someone actually hanging themselves right. the murder's pretty crazy though yeah i guess a murder kind of <laughs> can you imagine it happening right up there the yeah murder? wish you could just go back in time and i know right see what happened yeah you know yeah Probably the most recent story that I have come across. So in a, in a, these boxes aren't used anymore uh, for the most part for any audience seating. The most recent uh, story of uh, anything unusual happening is uh, uh, from a gentleman who was in spam a lot here just a couple of years ago. And uh, he had gotten up here, uh, had stood behind this curtain until it was close to when it was time for him to, um, to be in the scene. And he walked through the curtain and was standing there and all of a sudden he felt uh, someone like tugging on him and his first thought was that he came out too soon right and someone was trying to get him back behind the curtain and he turned and there wasn't anybody there he, he said uh, he managed to keep his wits about him well enough that he you know didn't have any problems delivering the line and then went back through the curtains and down the stairs and started asking around, you know, hey, were any of you guys messing with me or anything like that? And no one admitted it. And it was at that time that it really hit him and it just set shivers down his spine that maybe he had heard the stories over all the years that maybe he was the latest uh, in a long line of people who have experienced something uh, here in the theater that maybe was related to Larry or, or some kind of spirit, so. Definitely a nice view up here. Yeah. You noticed before the uh, the murals mm -hmm. were original design element uh, when the theater was built. And you see two, uh, one on that wall and one on this wall that were um, refinished as well. Um, there's more that are still uh, in storage and the city has plans to work on them as well. It's very oh, cool. expensive to get done. In fact, one, um, there's room for four more and um, we've got three of those four. There's one that just has disappeared. No one knows whatever happened to it. So. Larry. You, Larry. Larry. There he goes again. Because <laughs> it's in the balcony. <laughs> yeah, right. It must have been his favorite one. It's like, so, I'll take my or, painting. Yeah, right. Or it's a picture of Larry. Oh, oh, no. oh, yeah. oh what? Yeah, <laughs> right there. Right. He's in there. That right. That would lead you to know who Larry was. So. It was me. Yeah. I wish. Don't you wish that was... Well. I love doing it. Yeah. This is uh, the location where a lot of people say they have seen the apparition called Larry, so never used anymore, so it's probably. This looks very like Harry Potter. <laughs> looks very creepy. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Probably the least used space in the building. There's a, uh, used to be, uh, this is where you could get up onto the roof. Oh, are these all the lights and everything? Yeah, they got some of the... Oh, that's cool. The theater staging lights. Cross. Like cross there. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yes. And an axe and a pickaxe. Oh, oh Very interesting. Okay. I'll... You want me to turn this off? Uh, sure. That is off. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, we should... There's power when there shouldn't be power. You have orphium all over you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what does that lead to? Just the lights? I don't think it leads to anything. Watch it. <laughs> Push the pencil. It should be turning off. That's the power right yeah, there. Right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's very hmm. So what are the experiences in here? The most common, or the only ones that I've heard, have been during um, uh, rehearsals for um, community theater productions when the actors are on stage and um, as I mentioned earlier a lot of times you look up to deliver lines um, and people swear they they have seen people in these uh, windows up here when they're really the space isn't used for anything you know again it's it's one of those things where I couldn't tell you how many 
people have experienced that, but it's, a, it's one of the more common experiences that, that I've heard of. I've always been curious about this. <laughs> it looks like a door for a safe. And I could not find any information on it when I was doing the research for the 100 year uh, centennial celebration as to what that is doing there. You don't, so, you don't know what's behind it? Yeah. I've never been able to open it, so. It's definitely a door to something. Yeah, it might lead out to uh, Maybe you got the sealed, overhang where sealed the sign is on. Pretty steady. So. Yeah, this is a dense door. Yeah. Old too. Strummer for sure. Brothers. I, I have to say that the vast majority of people I know have never had any experiences. Uh, and, and many of them have spent a lot of time down here either as employees of the, the old community theater or um, as employees of SMG or as cast members. But And yet there are people that we know, uh, know their names and know the histories who have uh, described their experiences and have stuck by their story uh, over the years. So, yeah. yeah. And that's how it always goes. Yeah. Not very many people who have these experiences, but start noticing a pattern or, yeah. you know, okay. gotta be something happening at least. Yeah. Can you guys just all describe real quick what, what just happened? Uh, it just fell? Like, was that even like a... Like you were standing there not even moving and it just like fell down. Yeah. I mean you can see clearly my foot is like pretty leaning. far away from the thing. Was Where was it even leaning up? It was leaning up like right like yeah, here and then right it just there. like fell, like threw itself down. It would have hmm. actually had to come, you know? Yeah, it would have had to it was pretty strange. go from all the way over <laughs> here. <laughs> It's really weird. Hmm. As we're talking about, like, yeah, yeah. instantly the, the moment that I stopped filming too, yeah. like I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we actually have this device that my dad's holding is a uh, SLS camera. So I'm not 100% sold on these things. It's kind of wonky science and no one really knows why these stick figures appear when this thing maps out. But this is a Kinect camera from the Xbox that is connected to this iPad which is running a computer program which here, will you hold it right there. So this thing is right now, like I said, picking up Right here's my hand, it's a camera feed, but it's shooting out these infrared dots, which is what the Xbox uses to actually map people when they you know, jump around, play games. Sometimes people have noticed that they get these random figures throughout the image that have no base in you know, what's actually in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Like there are no figurines or things that even remotely resemble a person. So I've never used this before. This is kind of the first time. Oh, like cool. I said, I don't really know if it's 100% legit or not, so I'm not going to count it as evidence, but if something weird comes up on that, then... we'll test it out. Yeah, exactly. Can we shut this light off? Yeah. Watch it yourself. Oh! oh. Ah, there you go. Hold on. I'm going to have you shut that light off. Everyone okay. Just kind of stand where you are. Okay. Nobody bump around. Well, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. 
to all of the spirits that are in the Orpheum Theater, if you guys are here, my name is Colin Browen. I'm here with a great group of people, and tonight, we are here to talk to you. I know people have come here to try and talk to you guys before, but we are just going to basically sit and listen and see if we can get responses from you guys. If you want to come out tonight, Larry, you can come out and talk to us, but I don't know, I guess you know, we're talking to Larry. <laughs> well, let's just start off. Um, if there is somebody here in the building with us, can you walk towards us right now and make some sort of a noise or use your voice to indicate that you're here with us? That's probably not your name, but if you're here, can you give us some sort of a sign? Me too, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm freezing oh cold right totally now. Totally cold. I'm trying to get a stick figure. Oh yeah, like it's it on it. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this thing doesn't go off. The rim mm -hmm. pod, like, yeah. never goes off. Mm -hmm. Ever. On its own. When we investigate. And I was like legit super hot, not really cold. Yeah, yeah me, too. me too. It's like my arms are like, just... the bottom, like, kind of towards the floor. It's, it's really cold. Ask him, to, ask him, Colin. Uh, Larry, if that's you, can you continue to walk up the stairs or walk away from that pod that's on the ground. It's, it's flickering. It's not even making a noise. It's bizarre. If that wasn't Larry, can you please manipulate that device like you just did? Maybe step back to where you were standing. Sweaty. Yeah, like literally I know. just commenting about. Yeah. I'm like covered in sweat on my face. So it normally doesn't like flicker randomly? No, no. no literally, really it doesn't do any of that. That's like one of the first times this thing has ever actually given us a signal in like using it 40 times. And now look at it. It's back to normal. You can see right there. That's so. That light that was flickering was actually the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. So that shouldn't even flicker. That doesn't have a light up feature. That thing just should be on the whole time that's crazy that it was just doing that so it looks like we are talking to somebody can you use the energy from one of these lights or from one of our devices and give us some sort of a sign I put it there because I felt like, I mean, a lot of these theories about theaters is that theaters are extremely actively haunted, not because of an entity, but because a lot of plays. Mm. The lights aren't even lighting up. Uh, that's really brave. Like, look at that. I think you need to get your EVP. But yeah. Okay, you have to record it. Really Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just have EVP. This is an old ass one. 
dude. Yeah, I can't even see this. Yeah, this is how you turn it on, right? It's fully charged. It's dead. Yeah, I just totally had it charged. You were the one handling that. I was actually completely, completely charged. You did that today? I just took it out of the like, dock before I left. <laughs> the EVP thing is dead, by the way. The um, voice recorder that we have. It's, it's, he literally just put batteries in it before we came here and was testing it out. Oh my <laughs> it's, god. It won't even turn on now. That's and that's not even us trying to, you know, sensationalize anything. That's just it's like, actually, I had no idea that that would happen just now. These are like 180 bucks. That's crazy because like one time I was in a room where, like with Donna, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was taking photos and I was in the room where she said someone like was hurt or killed and all of a sudden my camera sh like shut off in that room and I couldn't ever get it to turn back on. Mm. Always electric. It was oh, really crazy. Oh, you guys crazy. feel like a cold, picture. It cold right now? Yeah. Right now, oh, look at that. God. Right when I said oh, that, right God. when I said that, guys. Oh my God. Freezing. Holy like, shit. Like Dude, okay. it's like a, literally like a cold chill that just came through. I have goosebumps on my arm. Like, oh my I God. literally. Damn. What? If you are manipulating that device, um. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? I think I might have bumped it. I don't know. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> this point two. What you mean, or 2.0? Uh, anything right now. I'm at point, okay, got, it was just it. at point 0.3, but not at point okay. 0.2. It looks but the like temperature it, it look, is changing. Well, I've, looks, been, I've been noticing that. If it's moving like that, that could mean that something... I mean, it's staying at a point 0.2, which is still a reading, no matter what. But the what. temperature has been changing from 71 to 74. I, yeah, look at right there. Yeah. It's already just going up right now. I have goosebumps, like, right now. Well, if, if, it's, if it's coming closer to the meter, that means that it might be coming to you. Why don't you ask it a question? Um, what is your name? Can you, you use your voice? What? Stay right where you're at. There's, I've got two of you mapped. Whoops, she moved. Maybe you'd see that thing's at least on and working. Point three? Yeah. It's staying at point three? Yeah, I know. Has that happened at all up until this point? Um, it's been changing from point two to point three. And the temperature keeps on changing. Yep, too. now I can see it's down oh a whole degree. Do we know if it's a man? <laughs> no, I guess not. Can you give us a sign? <gasps> right when you Dude, my camera is acting so weird. <laughs> Do one of you guys have an infrared light? Not here. Nobody? Not mm -hmm. here. Hey, well, have you guys. Look at how this thing is like flickering. Do you see this? It's it like, might be the Xbox. Oh, camera. yeah, you're right. You're so right. That's exactly yeah. what it is the infrared is shooting yeah. out. Yeah. If you're touching, I'm at a four right now. I'm at a you're four. at a four right now. Oh my God! Is it a four point one? Four point one? Yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about. Is that's a, a it big went, reading. It went from a, once I noticed it, it went down. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It looks like it seems like it's attaching to you, already, from the way that you're okay. reacting. Could from, it maybe be a girl? Then you think? Yeah, if maybe it is. it is. Can you give us a sign if you're a woman? Or ask someone. Yeah. Here we can run an EVP session. I just changed the point two. How old are you? Are you twenties? At a point five right now. Are you forties? That's crazy. That's just staying on a reading around you. Are you an older man? Did you hear something from down there? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Cheer something from down there. Cheer something from down there. Just now just heard something. Uh-huh. Are you mad? 
or are you okay? It's just crazy how that thing is like staying completely steady and then randomly it comes through and goes wild. So we keep this moving. You guys want to move up to this room sure. real quickly and we can yeah. head down to the stage. Yeah. We can use the spirit box. Oh, oh look at it, right when you move. Okay, right when you move. This thing does not have motion sensing literally anything. Why is that running up? I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it's like weird how like differently it's acting with different yeah, mm -hmm. stuff. I like to get more involved in the If you guys don't know what a spirit box is, um, this thing basically just scans through radio frequencies. Is that going? No, I can't yet. It's, it's, it maps out a body. Look at that. It's what is that? over. What is that pointing at? It's this. It's right here. It's right here on top of this. It's, now it's on. It's right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's us. moving. Uh huh. What is it? What is it on? What's over there? No, it's not on the flight. It was on the chair, dude. That's well, it was. It's pointing at the oh, chair. No, oh, now, it's, it is. now it's not right sure. next to the chair. Here. Oh, now it's right next to you guys. It's, it's on, on the chair, wall, right here, on the chair. It's it's point, it's pushing. It's, got, it's, it's hitting got legs and look everything. Look at it. It's grabbing stuff. What? It's got legs and everything. Look at, dude, look at look at look at look at look at. Okay, well the spirit figure thing is gone. It jumped from that chair to this like chair, so moving. it obviously wasn't it's grabbing mapping. something. So here's what's crazy: is this thing was just um, mapping this, and it was mapping a. Here, you want to film yeah. this? Getting colder. It's right there. It's, it's by you guys. Not picking up anything. Whatever device you have out, how do I turn this thing on, dude? It is right on you. Is that drawer open or anything? Totally mapped out. Did you see that? Yeah. What was that? Okay, there's another one. Another one just came in. Totally mapped out. Fully mapped out. Did you see that? That is screwed it right by you. There's two of them. Like yeah, there's two now. Like 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 yeah, right there's right by you. Some movement in the closet that. over there. Yeah. Oh, look at look at seven point four, oh two point one. Right when you moved it over like that. Sorry, it's scared me so much. No, it's okay. It's a one point four. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone, guys. I'm cold. It's gone. Point six. Point six. Right when I put my hand by it, it killed the signal too. But what's interesting is like, what what does that mean? Like, I, I don't think that there's a ghost sitting right here in this chair, but why would it be picking that signal up when there's obviously nothing that it could be connecting a head to a body with limbs here? Mm -hmm. Like, why would it be doing that? I'll let you hold this. Mm -hmm. This is just going to scan through radio frequencies, but odd people think that since spirits exist on a different frequency than we do, that when they're talking to us, we can hear it through these upper frequencies that we can't detect with our own ears. So that's what this thing is basically doing, just presenting that. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Did anybody mm -hmm. hear that? I heard that. Wait, everyone quiet for one second. Oh, is it? Oh, are they? Oh, I thought you were down there. I thought he was downstairs talking. Did anybody else just hear like a male voice? I know you heard it because I was talking to you and it sounded like, uh, I know we got that on the camera mm -hmm. for sure. It's basically doing it, just presenting that. It's basically doing it, just presenting that. Are you back here in this closet? I don't know about you, but I feel like this is kind of dead back here. Mm -hmm. Nothing compared to what's up there. Yeah. Well, Which is crazy because it's super creepy in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, guys, well, do you want to head down to the stage? Yeah. You're done with the second half? Or it's just feels and, empty. And then the like thing I think made the noise too. It just um, did? Just now? Well, did, oh. Yeah, did, yeah, yeah I heard it. Go up. Yeah. You should be able to pull that yeah. out. Yeah. It's like it went up so here with us yeah. and then went back down. You want to maybe show us yeah. that exactly. it was a part of the, the light. That's hard. Lighting, Interesting. Lighting, um, Right when we came back out, 
it wasn't it wasn't reading barely anything when we were in the room except for when it was like interacting with us think about it then it came back down here and the noise went off see it's still working that's what's crazy it's not like it, it's dying or anything it's completely normal yeah, that's odd that's to the stage <sighs> real quickly what are you guys' thoughts so far how's it going I'm freaked out <laughs> i think the the ghost or the spirit is part of the the lighting crew yeah i think that it wanted us to go up there and check it out kind of let us up there yeah. show us something well, and it just went to point six when I said that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Can you see if there's a switch for that hallway light right there? Is that a, by chance, did any of you guys know if that's a ghost light? I didn't notice that earlier. Wait, is that just like a random living room light? Yeah, it's just on. One well, the weird thing, like legit though, I turned like looked over here and I walked closer and I got like super goosebumps. Like, right now? Like I did when I like first looked over here oh, before you yeah. explained that. I did not notice this at all. I mean, I guess the lights were on earlier, but that's well, especially when the it's camera. like not production time. I don't know why it's on. Yeah, it's just on. And it's not a you know a light that they need. Let's put this on the center of the stage. Mm -hmm. Right, this? Not I was. I'm at point seven right now. Point nine, nine, right when you said that. Point six, now it's gonna go away. Point four, point one, zero. <laughs> so, because we were just talking about the ghost light. So, to people online who don't know what a ghost light is, a lot of theaters across the United States, I don't know where this um, practice originated, but they will keep on a lamp or a household light in the middle of a stage or off stage to ward away bad energy um, during production time. The Washington Pavilion in town has one and I've seen it in person. I played with it when I snuck into one of the theaters during a marching band show that I had there. And apparently this is the Orpheum Theater's ghost light right here. This light is just on, on the side of the stage. So we are going to turn it off now and see if that somehow messes with this energy, let's see. You guys want to come over here? This room is, uh, Yuri. Hmm. What was that? that? Can you do that again if that was you? If that was you, one more time. Here I am. I just go off. What was that sneak? Was yes. that a sneak? Here I am. I'm standing in the middle of this room. Larry, I've always wanted to talk to you, my friend. So why don't you give me another sign that you're here? Why don't you tell me why you're here after all these years? Okay, everybody, let's just sit silently for like a minute straight. If you guys hear anything at all, please instantly say it. So I wanna I wanna know if it's around the room being a little weird. Larry or whoever it is that's in the Orpheum Theater, we're gonna give you a minute or two right now. So we can move on from this stage of the investigation. Can we start talking about real things or having some sort of contact? Jesus. What was that? Did you guys hear that? I heard that. Over there? Mm-hmm. Did you die in this building? Is anybody feeling anything in this room? Or do you guys want to move on to the other? Like I 
It's like cool for a while and it went away. Yeah, it definitely went away. It's, it's, that's, that's the nature of this stuff here. Or in this room where you said the other experience is happening, then we can culminate in the stage, it was like 0. 0.7, 0. 0.5. And now it's still zeros? It's still zeros yep. in here. See? How crazy is that? Mm. But it was like the second I like looked in here when we first walked in, it was like, so, I was so cool. You're touching this back on? No. <laughs> oh, no. Because it's, yeah, it makes no sense. Like. Yeah, right. You notice how that thing is not gone a single time when we've been down. Yeah. So really quickly, keep an eye on that meter. It's spikes and all. Oh, what the hell was that? That was weird. Oh, oh good. good. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm exploring. <laughs> Is there somebody other than Larry in this building? Oh my god. Rich shadows scared the hell out of me. Mm. Can you say one of our names if you're in here with us? There's a figure. Where? Okay, Tom, across from you. Somebody needs to come over here if you could. Here, it's right here. See it? Okay, who's sitting back? Who's l sitting down? No, your okay. other hand. Yeah, go to the side. It's right next to you, right there. It's oh, right no, there. That? It's right there. Wait, 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 wait. Right there. That is weird. See if it's big. See if it's giving It's a figure. Oh, there's two. There's another one. Mm -hmm. Yep, right here. There's not your, your foot, Colin, right on your leg, your right leg. It's on you. And there's one on the right of who's ever, I can't, is this left or right? It's on, there, it's on the right. Yeah, that, your it's hand right. that's out, it's yeah. right by you. Yeah, it's behind you. Put your hand out straight. To the side. To the side, sorry. There you go, right, right there. there. You're right, and it's yeah, moving me when you did that. If that's you standing right next to Taylor, and, since you seem to be attracted to her, can you please use your voice? And Colin, that What's one's your name? that one's right on you. Oh, he just disappeared. Why are you here? Why are you trying to hold your hand? On my arm? Really? Right on my shirt? Yeah. Is it by my right it, arm? It's, it's on your arm. It's yeah. hanging from your arm. I'm feeling like a pressure on my calf. I mean, on my calf, my, my bicep, sorry. Why are you grabbing Taylor? It's hanging from your arm. Can you say her name? Here. Right from there. It's still there. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. Can you give us your name? Is this Larry that's right here next to us? How about knocking? If you're here in the room with us, can you give me two knocks just like this? Can you give us a sign? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it's, and you had one on your legs, it's, it's bud. It's like moving around too. It's like dancing. It's right on your hand yet. It's doesn't still on it, your hand. It doesn't look like it's dancing. I wonder if, mm -hmm. what, what do you That's think? Like it's got it's like arms crossed and it's like kicking his it legs is. out. What would, what would you say to it, or what she, it's her deal. What would you yeah. tell her to Why do? Why don't you ask it to stop moving around? Stop moving? Now it's leg is kicked yeah. out. It's like it's kicking you. It's like kicking you. Almost. Yeah. It's like oh. kicking you. Yeah, it is. Look at it. The her leg is kicking you. you. Oh, you just came over and it left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> see if it comes back. Yeah, why don't you ask one time to see if it comes back to you guys? Let me turn this light on to make it not hokey. <laughs> Can you give us a sign? They keep coming and going. Is your light too bright? No, shouldn't have Did any effect. That? Yeah, what was that? It was like back there. I got that on camera mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, it's back, guys. Like, here, hold right on. here. Oh, oh, it just jumped at the oh, camera. It, it, it jumped it at the camera. At did you get that or no? Wait, wait, everyone quiet for one second. Hold on. Right there. Can you give me a sign? Did you guys hear a voice? Just yeah, I did. It's still right on that same place, right on your... Right on. It's on your... I told you, it's attracted to you. It is. It's no, the whole night, it's been following you. <laughs> it's back again. There's another one. There's another one, one right here. next to you. There's oh. two. Oh. It's that look. one back again. Yeah, look at, guys, come over here, look at this. You guys gotta come and look at this Look at these here. two. They're oh my God, shifting around. Crazy. Like, look, you're on a literal 
flat surface. Yeah, that's 1. a... 1.8, middle 1.8 right now. 1.8? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's big, it's right there. Is and it like tall figures? Like No, tall they're short, the they're two short figures. Oh, okay. The one on the floor is like on the floor. Like a kid size? Yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. To your left is the kid size one. The one's grabbing her leg, look at that. Your right leg, it's grabbing. Do they have goosebumps down there? But I think that's just me, like... Having <laughs> I mean, like a ghost party over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, gra it gra keeps grabbing your right leg. It, now it's got a different. So you back there? 4.9. 4.9. Right by yeah, your yeah, leg? Right where, right where it is. And it, it, went, it, just, yeah. it just it just oh, left. What? It just left. It just it left right when I said it left. that. Yep. Both of them are gone. I'm freaking the freak freak. Mm. I can't. <laughs> It got cold in here. Anybody feel? Oh. Mm -hmm. Remember when I asked it to knock earlier? It's freaking cold. Dude, did any of you feel the coldness? Yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel I'm cool. like, there's, mm -hmm. there's no airflow that just started. There's no anything that would have, we would have heard it either way. Can you give us a sign? Are you a child? <gasps> what the frick? What was that? That's where it was before. Wait, what the f is back here? Dude, it's just these clothing racks, dude. Wait, wait, hold up. Wait, hold up, hold up. It's back there. Oh, it's back there. It's back there. Oh, it's really... Oh, God. Yeah, like it's, it was like this. No, what was it? Well, I guess basement time, guys. Let's finish it out with the scariest part. Oh, oh. sorry. Can one of you guys grab? Like a pressure, yeah. like right here. So I was holding my camera, and I could feel like something like holding, like oh, like pushing my arm down, and I was like, what? And then all of a sudden, my my bottom of my leg started to get cold. And then that's when someone was like, there's someone like, or a spirit by you. Okay. And then at some point, so it changed to 4.9. And then that's when I was like, oh my goodness. But for sure, I felt a little pressure, you know, push me down. And then I was just holding it there. Like, <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. It's for sure freaky. I, I feel the vibe. And that's where it was, that's where it was mapping too. Yeah. And um, it was like, you know, children, you know, like, you know, yanking at my foot maybe, or, you know, it was, it was just a weird, it's one of those things where you just can't explain it. Yeah. Here, well, everyone's gone. Why don't, why don't we ask one more time? You just ask it if, it, if it's sad that we're leaving. I right now. Ask if it's sad we're leaving. Are you sad that we're leaving? Can you give us a sign? Do you want us to stay? Do you hear like a voice? I thought I heard kind of like a, oh. Well, when I was sitting on those, like in this area, that's where. <laughs> Temperature is dropping. Yeah, it, it is. Have you noticed anything being back there? Felt anything? It's like, it's like right here in the center. I don't feel anything over there, but yeah, nothing is, no fans, no vents up there. <laughs> Someone just flushed a toilet or something, I guess. <laughs> okay, basement time. So real quickly, everyone right here, how are you feeling at this point? And tell me like one thing that's happened, all you guys. Um, a lot happens and I feel like it's super, there are spirits or something that's definitely happening here. And Freaking out a little bit. I was just down there and needed to run upstairs, so. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm pretty freaked out by like the rattling noise in the corner. Yeah. And then just like the whole thing with Taylor was super freaky. Yeah, for sure. I feel like the children or the the smaller figures by my, my legs that uh, spooked me out the most. If you want, we can leave you with them. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm at a 1.5 when I said that. Oh, mm. gosh. Mm. Yeah. I've said it since the very beginning that it's attracted to her for some reason. Mm -hmm. Since we were up the stairs and it's continued to happen. I'm going to cry now. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, my God. They're like, she's talking okay. about this brother. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, nothing, yeah. it's, no, it's well, nothing to be afraid of, though. Yeah, I'm at 1.7 right now. See? That should not be happening right now. Yeah. That should not be happening. It went down once I said it. Are you okay? No, yeah, I'm fine. It's just weird. Weird experience. If you yeah. need to take a break, it's, no, it's fine. okay. I'm okay. Jeff, just want to ask really quickly, when you just yeah, scanned I'm, the room, did you pick up on anything on the sticks? I'm just uh, around Taylor. like. No, I'm, I'm saying like no, you but just I'm went just, into the room. I did, no, it was empty. I'm just saying like you guys are all just completely blank. And there's like, she maps out, and then there's like, color. Very odd distortions on that thing. Well, Taylor, you if you are uh, haunted, we are going to fire you. It's <laughs> <laughs> in my job no, description. Can I go for real? I'm at a 6.1 right now. Are you okay? 6.1, yeah. dude, she's at a 6.1. Yeah, I'm not scared or anything. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's weird. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you have a figure by you. Two. Two. Look at guys. Oh my god. Look at that. It's two. only around her, too. It doesn't matter around you guys when we shoot it. Well, you okay? Well, yeah, I'm fine. It's what just. What the it's, hell is that next to you? It's like really you're, big. Look at, dude, look at Right when you're having this emotion, too, mm -hmm. think yeah. about it. Right yeah. when you're feeling yeah. such an intense energy, I'm, there's I'm like a cool huge. Too. It is big. There is a this little, is, gigantic red blob next to you. Why, why are you surrounding Taylor specifically? Can you answer that? She wants to know. Hmm. Well, hey, since we do have a time limit, sorry to cut you off. For the final part of our investigation right now, we are all going to go into the basement together. This is, like I said earlier, the the place in the building where Donna, the psychic that I've worked with, that you've worked with, mm -hmm. we all know her as a very credible, very trustable medium empath. This is one of two spots in Sioux Falls, this whole area, that she will not go back into. It's Gitchy Manitou and the basement of the Orpheum. I've been hearing about this place for years from her. So now to actually be here is a treat, but also a little freaky. So to finish this out, we're gonna to go together at first, and then they're gonna leave me alone for about 10 to 15 minutes in the dark to see if I can connect with whatever negative, powerful thing seems to be in the basement. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Everybody, when they were doing these plays, spent so much time down here mm -hmm. in the green room, getting ready, like he said, running in these passageways constantly. And even what I like to think about is there's a big theory in the paranormal world called the stone tape theory, which argues that stone as a material can absorb um, stone rock, you know, a lot of just geological, whatever you want to call them, materials can absorb energy better than any other material. And then right here in the basement, this area that supposedly is the most active, there's a huge stone wall where, brick wall I should say, where all of these different people, including you back yeah. in the day, 
left a mark. And they went out with intent to, to, to literally leave their personal mark on this this area. So who knows if it you know has influenced what's happening down here, but is everyone in a good spot? Look around the corner. There is a yeah. garbage bag right behind you. Here you go. Okay. Here, why don't we experiment with this one more time? Temperature. Okay. So good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. You see, you can see how close he just walked to the device and mm -hmm. it doesn't go off. Who is down here in the basement? What's that device that's on back there? Is that on? It's, the it's a Wi-Fi. No, it's got, um, I just, that's what I was looking at. It's got a temperature reading on it and something else. I don't know what it is. Did I just turn on? I didn't see it earlier. Yeah, I, I didn't see it when I looked over here just now. It's like, when you, there. It looked like, it looks like a little LCD screen. Oh, I saw it earlier. It oh, okay, good. It. Yeah, it's just, it's just a clock either way, so. <laughs> don't want to go in their spot one more time. Oh, is this under the stage right here? Oh, that's crazy. Room. Can you use your voice? I know that you are not Larry, so we're going to deal with you in a different way. Who are you? And why do you like to make people feel bad when they're down here? Can you give us a knock like this? How, how crazy is it when you guys think about it that this thing has not made one noise since we moved from upstairs? That's really oh. crazy. No, no, stop. That wasn't you? Dude, mm -hmm. there was just really loud movement from, if you, I'm, I'm ice cold, mom. Mm -hmm. Look at my arm, mm -hmm. look at my hairs on, all on end. There was just something walking around in here, mm -hmm. like towards us really fast, and then a female voice from literally right, dude, you can't hear the outside from up here. A female voice just went like, mm -hmm. like right mm -hmm. down this hallway. Mm -hmm. Dude, look at my arm. It's literally goosebumps the whole way down. Can mm -hmm. you see that on camera? And that, we all heard that too, that from yeah. right behind you. Is that a 2.2? 2.2 right now? It was. Oh, like right, oh. it seemed like the energy just came through. Sorry, I kind of freaked out there. Okay. So if that was you that just came out and tried to talk to us, you cannot scare us. So you're gonna have to try a little bit harder than that. Did you hear that? What? When you did that, it was a sub-point. There's a feature on these guys right here. Everyone, let's sit completely still for a minute, because there's a, literally so many noises from back here. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to come hear this. Why don't we all move into this room, because there's a ton of stuff happening from back here. This is the where, door, yeah, the doors. We're upstairs. Remember when I stood by it, and that's when all the... That's right where the noises just came from. I don't like that room at all. I know, it's, it's like... Okay, everybody, let's let's sit completely still for about three minutes. Three, two, one, go. Anybody else feel like the energy just left? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't feel like there's anything here. No, right after we had that huge burst and you had the meter spike, it's still on a zero it now. Like they like ran across. Yeah, mm -hmm. seriously, it ran through us. This seems dead here.
colony on your way out though. Yep. Standing here texting Peyton. I'm completely alone down here. I'm hearing a ton of noises. So we've had a really good night so far up until this point. Had some really crazy things happen here at the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls. And to end the night, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of time and walk around the basement completely alone. I'm gonna turn my lights off and I'm gonna have the night vision on and that's gonna be the only light. So, I'm getting chills right now when I, I just was just filming while I was pay texting Peyton rolling. And I'm hearing like literal footsteps and like noises from right behind me and I'm getting chills. Like it was kind of weird the moment that everybody left, I got chills, so. Is there anybody down here in the basement with me? So here are the rooms we didn't go into earlier to investigate. Here's the women's dressing room area. If you're in the women's dressing room with me, can you use your voice, move something? Give me a sign that you're here. here to the men's dressing room. Ugh, the bathroom back there, that's really creepy. Is there anybody down here with me? Dude, when we heard the toilet flush, that was right underneath, that was right above here, and that was in this bathroom. Damn, that's crazy. Well, I'm really feeling nothing right now in either of these rooms. I've been here about five minutes. So I'm just gonna keep walking to the more active part where we were having our activity um, just 20 minutes ago. This room's definitely creepier because of the red glow. Is there anybody down here in the basement with me? Larry, are you here? I think I just heard like a whisper of some sort, but it's creepy. So back here is the, this is so creepy guys. Back here is the prop room. Like I said, I'm in the complete darkness. Over here is the room I just came from. Here's the one of the hallways. And then here's under the stage. Over here and just sit between all of that in the corner. I'm telling you guys, it takes a lot to do this sometimes. And right now after what's been happening, I'm just feeling like freaked out and I've got weird vibes, but. Can you tell me what your name is? Why don't you throw something at me? Touch me. I'm 
literally in the dark. Here you go, guys. Here's what I see. Are you under the stage? There's just like talking right now that I just heard. From literally behind them. You can't hear anything from even upstairs when they leave or when they left. You literally couldn't hear anything. Dude, I feel like there's a man standing right there and I have such chills right now, I'm gonna have to turn my light on. Hello? Is there anybody here? Yeah, there's definitely some creepy- ah! Dude, my camera literally just died right when that happened. There's a footstep re literally right on these stairs. I mean, my camera stopped recording. Oh my god, dude, goosebumps once again. Walk towards me, I'm all alone. Make something happen, let me know you're here. Did you hang yourself here? Breathing noises. This reminds me of being in an abandoned building and I hate it. Dude, it's so cold here all of a sudden. Well, I don't want to overstay our welcome here at the Orpheum, but Yeah, I'm done because this is like, I don't know, I just need to get out of here because I don't want to overstay our welcome, like I said, and we were supposed to be out of here like half an hour ago. This building is apparently extremely active according to a ton of people that have been in plays here, worked here, and tonight it really showed that it really is an active spot, the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls. There's an energy here. It's both dark and positive, but it's extremely active, tons of cold spots lots of electrical manipulation, lots of physical activity, emotional manipulation. We got to use the SLS camera. It's been a crazy night and we're the first people to ever film a video here. So I hope that all the people in Sioux Falls that are watching this right now, remember what happened tonight and write this down in our town's history as the first investigation ever here at the Orpheum and one that actually yielded some great results. I'm gonna head upstairs now, but yeah, I gotta say goodbye to everybody before we sign off, so, yeah. Like I said, the very first investigation on video ever. Thank you to them. Thank you to Sioux Falls, the, the city, for letting us in here. Thank you to 605 Magazine. I'm going to plug their piece. You guys have to go read it. And, you know, they're going to be plugging the video and everything. So it's going to work out well. But anyways, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. One, two, three. Stay, Stay spooky. spooky. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God.
gosh, that was so fun. <laughs> that to our second really mysterious room here in the hotel. Everybody is always drawn to this area. Possibly back in the day when this was a brothel, a man inflicted pain to some of the women. And we think this room might have been like a punishment area. That is crazy. What the <laughs> hell? We had no idea any of the history, anything. Are you up here? It sounded actually like it was behind me. Do something for us. 